Hello and welcome to my first Photoshop tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to do seamless textures in Photoshop. I'm going to be using CS4 but I'm sure this will work just the same in CS5 and probably CS3 too. So it's, it's very very easy and you should be able to use it in uh, those three versions. Uh, so right now I'm on my site super3.org um, and you can see there's a background image uh, all the way over here and this image is actually just this portion right here if you follow my uh, cursor that I'm going around that's how big the astral image is uh, but using this technique I was able to match this end of the image with this end of the image and so when I repeated it across here it just looks like one big image so what I'm going to do is download a uh, file that I can just show you how to do this with. Uh, on my site if you go to freebies and then you go to texture sets, I have a bunch of texture sets that you can download for free. So I'm just going to use those to show you how I did this. So I'm going to just hit download zip, downloads, open the zip file. I'm just using WinRAR, you can use any kind of uh, screen or unzipping program that you want. I'm going to find a nice one, looks like uh, Ground 3 looks like a nice solid one here. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out the preview and I'm going to open this in Photoshop. So let me minimize these and drag ground three I just have it sitting on my desktop to Photoshop and that should open it alright so what we need to do is apparently I have my shoe in the way here so let's just crop that out hit enter just use the crop tool and we don't need an image that's necessarily this big it's uh, a few thousand pixels so let's bring it down uh, let's go to image image size percentage set this at 25 and then go here type 50 so we can kind of see what we're doing here so basically what we need to do let's actually crop off a little bit more there's a dark shadow there so what we need to do is match this side of the image to this side of the image. So how we do that is we need to go to image, canvas size, make sure this anchor is in the middle, select percent and change width to 150. Basically this will give us some area to work on either side. So from there, what we need to do is uh, select this portion right here this top image and we want to make sure we got the very edge and just a little bit in so that's good enough and I'm gonna zoom in with my navigator here just to make sure I got everything it looks like it's off just a little bit so I'm gonna hit the right arrow to move it over so it's exactly on the edge of the image and into the image here so what we need to do I'm just gonna hit control C I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna paste it on top and then I'm gonna do a new layer and paste it again and I'm gonna move this little portion right here I'm gonna move it all the way to the right so it's connecting with the rightmost edge and use the arrow keys to get it in there right and close and so it's right on that edge now it's kinda hard to see maybe with this video but if you're uh, looking at the image there's a very clear seam uh, where these don't quite meet up so what we need to do is go to the uh, healing brush tool, uh, make the brush a little bit bigger, 
and then or excuse me we need to go to the spot healing brush make the brush a little bit bigger I'll we'll actually make it around 36 pixels looks good enough and basically we just kind of tap on uh, this edge here uh, to kind of merge them together but before we do that we have to uh, merge this layer which is layer 2 to the background layer there so we're gonna hit control E to merge those two so this is one layer now so what we do we just kinda dot along here where we can see the line and you just kinda have to eyeball it uh, you just look at it from different angles you can see where the seam is uh, this matches up pretty good so we don't have to do much but you just kinda click on here along the seam and the uh, healing brush that will take care of the seam and kind of blend them together so now that the seam is gone and that looks like one continuous image here uh, what we need to do is be able to select this portion that we merge so we're gonna take our top uh, layer here that we copied of this section here basically we transferred this section over here merged it so we need to have a way to split this off back again so basically uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this portion back over to the edge and match it with the edge here so just do it till it goes over and then make sure it's completely on top then all we have to do from here is select the quick selection wand or the magic uh, wand tool and select everything here so we just make sure we get everything besides the little selection on top you just gotta try to get everything here it's not working so well so I'm just gonna hit uh, Control D to get rid of everything. I'm just going to try the magic one tool, see if that works. Tolerance zero, just click here. Shift, click there, and then we selected everything besides this little strip right here. Then we hit uh, Control Shift I to invert it, so we're selecting this tile here. And then all we have to do is deselect that layer and make it invisible click on the background uh, click copy I'm just hitting control C and paste it move it back over to the other side just kinda gotta eyeball it and it should match up right here perfectly and all we have to do is get rid of the old portion here so select that again and take this portion and select it invert it with control shift I and delete on the background layer and then get rid of that so now if we crop everything out and you have to make sure you do it exactly on the edge or I'll ruin the whole thing uh, because it won't match up perfectly that matches up perfectly that matches up perfectly Crop it, merge everything with control E, and ta-da! Basically, it doesn't look uh, like much is happening here, but this and this side are matching perfectly. So if you were able, you wanted to kind of tile this 
uh, over and over again uh, these sides would match and also if you wanted to uh, make uh, the top and the bottom match you just use this exact same technique uh, to make them match just uh, vertically instead of horizontally and that will match up the sides so I hope this is helpful uh, to anyone who needs it whether you're using for website stuff or uh, graphic design and you just want to make a texture uh, just seamlessly uh, go into the next I know tile of it uh, so basically you can repeat something over and over again and it'll actually look like it's continuous instead of like you can tell that those are two different images so I hope I explained it uh, and hopefully there'll be some more uh, Photoshop tutorials to come so if you have any questions with this Photoshop tutorial uh, just respond in the comments or visit form.nistic.com and there will be plenty of people that can help you with your Photoshop questions there. Uh, again, super3.org is where you can download the texture that I use for this tutorial. Alright, uh, see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.